Supposing like everybody else does with clickbait. Clickbait shit. Where you put, oh my god, I bought a fucking broken motorcycle that's obsolete. What do I do? <laughs> it's an emo, no! The year of it starts with 19, no! <laughs> Bike rescue. <laughs> Morning, everybody. It's new bike day. We found a 2022 Craigslist posting for a 1990 FLH. We're going to go check it out and rescue it. For a little motorcycle. Bike rescue at it again. So since we have four engines torn apart right now and keep having to buy parts and tools, what are we going to do? Get another bike and another bike project. <laughs> Always more to do. Negative. 13 degrees. Fuck this. Yeah, that Craigslist posting has been out for a while, right? That's a good sign. Or a bad sign. spark plugs that's nothing once we got there we knew we were getting this bike and then his old lady Faye was giving us the whole rundown on ugly Joe's story how much he loved this bike he would I would come out in the garage at night sometimes he'd get all shittered out there with his buddies and they go home and I find him on asleep on the ground next to it holding it like it was a woman uh, <laughs> wait they don't don't uh, and when he died, he had a he had a thirty pack in the fridge, and we drank all of them except for one. So then I strapped his ashes to the back of my bike and his last beer, and I rode to Sturgis by myself. Oh, and man. I told everyone just meet me there later. I took the long way up and around. And, and oh gosh, goosebumps, dude, Jesus. Then we burned him out. Got drunk, burned him out. Oh. Nice. <laughs> It was so cool because we went into the, you know, I we had stayed in the, at Sturgis for so many years. We knew everybody. Had, we went and told the owner, we I'm like, you know, we're gonna we're gonna burn Joe out under the tire. And so we went to the camp bar, and I stood up on a chair, and I'm like, hey man, you know, you don't want my old man on your bike. You better fucking move it now. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody came outside, and they all stood there. All right, here she is, the 1990 FLH CC bar attached. That CC bar is so epic. So the bike sat since at least 2019. The owner, though, passed away in 2015, so who knows how much it was ran after his passing. So we really didn't do much to it. What all did you do to it? Uh, we had to go through the carp and uh, put a battery in it. The tires, just the basic stuff. Check fluids. Fluids, carb. I had a CV carb. Thankfully, he didn't have to replace any gaskets. Just put it back together. Drain the gas. Yeah, drain the gas because it had gas sitting in it. <clears throat> Surprisingly, that didn't destroy the carb. Got a fresh battery. Let's start her up and see how she rides. So the engine supposedly only has a thousand miles on it. That should sound really good. Ah, uh, choke it, yeah. So quiet. This is the anti-bagger, no fairing FLH. I think it looks great. Almost has like a road king style. Let's see how it runs.
Your beautiful creation will be back on the road. Your headlights just flashing. Everything's just going crazy, yeah. Well, it definitely sounds great. Sounds like there's a lot of rattling and some electrical issues we gotta fix. All the lights are just going crazy, but looks like this was a really good buy. How did it shift? Shift's fine. It works fine. Shift's fine. The brakes. I just gotta figure out this fucking wire. Oh, it popped a fuse. Yeah. This is all the fucking bagger shit. <clears throat> Bunch of bagger bullshit for dash and all that. We don't need. Evolution V Twin Harley Davidson motorcycles. For all of our bikes being completely obsolete, we really have a cool collection. If evos are obsolete, what are shovel heads and, e and iron heads? <laughs> well, some people still appreciate older motorcycles. All it takes is a little elbow grease. Mm -hmm. And I'm back to happy now. All of our bikes are older than me. Yay! We need to start working on getting bikes that are older than you, though. That'd be cool. Well, if we get that 76 shovel head, ah. ayo. I'd say we have a pretty complete fleet as of now, though. If you're afraid to get dirty, do wiring and wrenching whatsoever, go to your local Harley Davidson dealership and get a certified pre owned Road Glide <laughs> for $35,000. Oh yeah, it's got to be gunship gray. Nothing else. Gunship gray, brand new bagger. Or if you're a normal person and you like wrenching on bikes and you like old school bikes, the anti-bagger, probably my favorite FLH I've ever seen, aside from Punkin, the shovel head FLH that we had at one time. Speakers are off. Mechanic is liquidated. Priorities. American motorcycles, American beer, American women. Wait, isn't PBR from Milwaukee too? And that concludes today's episode of rescuing bikes that were left in garages for years. Join us next time for more, I don't know, riding and doing stuff. Thanks for watching.